First of all, I want to say happy Mother's Day, Dollface. You are the most incredible mother in the world, even though all of your friends that are mothers are exceptional too. But I wanted to make my case. You birthed your children at home. You studied so hard for the pregnancy, hours of books. Uh, you took hours of learning about diets. You studied vaccines and shots to know what is best. You breastfeeding even when your own health was on the line. You were staying so loving when circumstances were beyond horrible. You taught my children scripture, our children, scripture. That is so awesome. They've memorized it and still have it in their hearts today. You clothed them with the best that we could afford. Let's face it, sometimes that wasn't much. You're spending days and hours studying and creating their education. You poured over it, you looked, you asked, you questioned yourself, you did it again, over and over and over again for all these years. Your quality shined through each of our children in such amazing tendencies. Let me explain that. Charity, she's thoughtful, tender, and hospitable, not for everybody, for the young and vulnerable in the room. She has a gift with children and so do you. It was your first uh, job you had when we were married. You worked in a school. Dominic, he's patient, thoughtful, and always puts others before his own desires. I think you'll agree with me on that as our oldest son. He's also cautious, of which you are as well. Uh, Joshua, he's a love for Jesus and a desire for everyone in the room to feel welcome and apart. He's never leaving anyone out. He's a refuge for all those people. It's so priceless. Micah, he's sweet, he's a little sassy. Uh, he defends himself, but loves to have fun more than defending himself. He loves to watch things on his phone, which he doesn't own, but it's your phone, and you love watching things on your phone. <laughs> he's the definition of sweet, and he loves to cuddle and be close. Liberty, that's our dog, for those of you watching this. She unconditionally loves her mama just like you unconditionally love your children. She never bites, even when she's annoyed. That would be you as well. She will always accommodate whatever you want. And I feel like that's what you do with our family constantly. I hope you can see and recognize the Christ in you all over your world, dollface. You season it with sweet water, just like a gardener does when it waters its most valued possession, and that's its garden. And what comes from that garden is a result of its tender love, care, mercies, and watering. And that's what you've been doing, and your plants are growing. They're all of plants around my table, the Bible says. I am blessed. You truly are a fruitful vine. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Free from any fights of our kids. <laughs>